company was recently named to Inc. Magazine's 5,000 list. It's a ranking of the nation's fastest growing private companies. Big things are happening at Skinny Tees. And I want you to meet the woman behind it in my Mom's a Genius report. I mean, you name a color and we have it. You're not kidding. <laughs> I mean, I really think we do. It's a sea of color in the Skinny Tees Birmingham headquarters. This is our number one seller. It's a bra-friendly tank top. Linda Schlesinger Wagner started Skinny Tees in 2009 with just one style tank top that fits sizes 2 to 22. Doesn't look so big, but look. Wow. And it really holds its shape. Today, it's not just tees, it's leggings, it's root, I mean, 200 yeah. styles. And now her latest product reflects her pride in a city she loves. This is it. And it's just launching. It's wow. Detroit Has Legs. Oh, and I love that name. that's when we have it. DetroitHasLegs.com. Yes, leggings with local landmarks and icons. Eastern Market, the Detroit Zoo, Eight Mile, the Grand Prix, Tunnel to Canada, Lafayette, Coney Island, and more. All of this is connected to all of our families in some way. We've For all sure. been to these icons. Yeah. Linda's sales have grown as fast as her styles. We sell all over the United States and actually the world because yeah. we're on QVC in Europe. Inc. Magazine named Skinny Tees to their Inc. 5000 list. In my wildest dreams, I never thought a little girl from Detroit would get that award. It's a ranking of the fastest growing private companies in the country. Skinny Tees had more than $5.6 million in sales last year. You've had tremendous growth, haven't you? I have. What do you credit that lucky. to? Hard work, have to do it, you know, great team. I have a great team, and I've been lucky. Not sure luck has much to do with it. She and her team work tirelessly with a focus on giving back. In fact, Linda's generosity was what led Carolyn to profile Linda as our person of the week about a year ago. She shared her son's struggle with drug addiction years ago and having nothing before she started Skinny Tees. You know, eight or nine years ago, I had nothing. And my whole goal or my vision was if I make it, I'm giving back. So that's what we do. Most recently after Hurricane Harvey, she donated 12,000 skinny tees for people in Houston. And now those Detroit has legs? The profits from this yeah. are going back to the Cass Community Social Services. Her next goal, working to get her products manufactured right here in Detroit. I want to put Detroit women to work. Let's give them a career. So for her vision, great success, and big heart, we say Linda, mom's a genius. She oh is such my. a special woman, she and I know is. you know that from meeting her. Beautiful. And more good news for her. Skinny Tees will be featured tomorrow morning on Good Morning America. Their deals and steals. So be sure to watch to get a great is, deal. Is this what they're doing? No, they're no. not. Because this, this goes to charity. The profits right, oh, go right. to charity. That's what you just she couldn't it. tell me exactly what it was, but I think there's actually going to possibly be a number of products on sale. But aren't they neat? <laughs> Those are cute. And the, and the oh. tank tops. They're, they're just so, so soft neat. And they're beautiful. Yeah. But, the, but, but I think the most important thing, she gives so, so much, much to so many people after going through so many struggles. She's just a caring soul. Yeah, she is. Check her website, by the way. We've got a link to her website and a lot more information at WXYZ.com. All right.